Hello everyone, this is Nitij and in this video, we are going to build a password strength meter which is a fairly common component on registration pages and this is not only essential for user security so that the user will know if they have entered a strong password or not but this also adds a great interactive element to your web applications. So this is the password strength meter that we will be building. Notice how right now this meter is currently empty. Now I'm going to start to add some characters into this input. With a single character it increased by some but it's now in color red which simply indicates that it's a weak password. Now let me add a number. Now it has increased. It's not that much weak but it's fairly weak still. Now let's add a couple of more characters to increase its length and now it's yellow. Now let me add a capital alphabet. Now it's blue. And now let's also add a special character. And now it's green. So this time this password is fairly complex and good in length as well. And that is what our meter is showing that it is a, a strong password. Now these rules can vary based on your own requirements. But more or less we have to implement those rules to be able to set all of these different colors. Now let's quickly get to the code to see how this password meter component can be built. So this is an empty boilerplate react project and the first thing that I will do is in the src folder I will create a new folder with the name components and inside components I will create another folder with the name password strength meter and now let's create a new file with the name index.jsx let's also create another file for our styling information so new file with the name index.css now for index.jsx i will first generate an arrow function export component provide the name which is going to be password strength meter let's export it as well and we also need to import our index.css so let's do that first now over here we will need a function to calculate the password strength but first we will need the password and that is going to be provided with the component prop so now let's create a function with the name calculate password strength all right this is going to be an arrow function so let's first create the strength variable and set it to zero now what we will be doing is we are going to define several levels of strengths if the password is going to pass each of those levels then we will simply add one to the current strength value so let's first create a level for the minimum length which should be ideal so if password dot length is more than five so five should be the ideal length then we will simply add one to the strength so strength plus equals to one and now we are going to do pattern matching to match different sets of characters so if password dot match and we will be using the regular expression for that so if password is going to match the small case characters then we are going to set strength hold on strength to an increased value so strength plus equals to hold on plus equals to one all right so now i'm just going to you know copy and paste this line multiple times while just changing the regular expression which is going to define a different level so if it's um, capital characters then again it is going to be increased by one in the strength if we, the user has added numbers then again the strength will increase if the user has entered a character which is not one of these three so not lowercase alphabets and not uppercase alphabets and not numbers then we are going to increase strength by one which simply means that if the user has entered any special character so for that i am going to use this not symbol for this regular expression so a to z and then 0 to 9 and then finally we can just return the strength 
All right, so before we do anything else, let's just implement the HTML that we are going to return. So I'm going to remove this index from over here. And first we will have a parent container for the strength meter. Then we will have the strength bar container in a separate div. And then inside this div, we will have the strength bar itself. Alright, so I'm just going to add the class names from them as well. So password strength meter and for the first child, the name that we can use is container. So password strength container and for this innermost div, it is going to be the password strength bar. So I'm just going to call it strength strength bar strength bar. Okay. All right, that's all we need to do, but the real dynamic stuff is going to happen with the styling. So let's get to the styling, how we are going to implement it. In our component, the first thing that we need to do after we have created this function and with this initial HTML that we need to return, we will simply calculate the strength by simply calling this function. So const strength is going to be calculate password strength. And now we need to figure out what color we need to use. So for that, we are going to create another function. So let's do that function get strength bar color and we will provide the strength as the argument for this function. Okay, hold on strength bar color, right? So let's use a switch block. So switch strength and the maximum strength that we can have is five because we are incrementing it max up to five for different levels. So I'm just going to create different cases for each strength value. So if it's one, it, then it's minimum. So simply return color red and let's just copy and paste for different strength values. So two, three, four, five, and we will also need a default case. So for default, I'm just going to return color gray, which simply means there is no password, right? So for case two or strength two, let's use orange. Then we can use yellow as the strength increases. Then we can use light blue and then we can use light green. So now let's fetch the strength color in our component. So const strength bar color equals to get strength bar color by providing this strength value as an argument. So I'm just going to pass it over here to this function. And now we need to calculate the values for the strength bar style. So we cannot place those values in the CSS because then we will have to use a CSS preprocessor. But because we are using a dynamic component widget, it is better to just use plain CSS. So I will create an object with the name strength bar style and over here first let's set the width so the width is going to be the total value of strength divided by 5 into 100 so because we are calculating the percentage so let's do that so strength divided by 5 multiplied by 100 and this much percent of width we are going to use and next for the background color so background color we are going to use our strength bar color because we have already calculated it now let's add the filter for our drop shadow so if strength value so if strength is more than zero then we are going to use the drop shadow so drop shadow function hold on drop shadow and then we need to provide the shadow size so 0 0 and then 5 px and then we need to provide the shadow color which is going to be the same as the strength bar color so let's use the same color over here and if the strength is 0 which simply means that no password has been entered then we can simply return none that we are not going to use any filter so our strength bar style has been created and we need to use this style in this strength bar div. So style equals to 
strength by style now it's time to implement these three classes so i'm just going to open up the index.css file the first class that we will add is for the strength bar meter so strength password strength meter so for password strength meter first let's add some padding and i am going to use 15 px and now the background color which is going to be gray so i'm just going to use a hex value and hold on yep let's also add the border radius i am going to use 10 px and then max width which is let's set 300 px and let's center align it so margin let's set the margin value as zero and then zero and then auto and then let's also set the margin top to um, set some gap between the um, strength meter and the top element so margin top is going to be let's set the value 20 px all right now for the strength bar container this is strength bar container first we are going to have the width as 100 percent because it's going to be the child of this strength meter the parent element so we can simply use 100 percent width and let's also set the uh, the background color so background color let's set it as white a shade of white and then for the border radius i am going to use a lesser value of 5px and finally for our strength bar which is this one we have to set first the height so i'm going to set the height as you know what 10px should be sufficient and i am going to set the border radius as well let's use the same border radius now to animate the changing strength for the strength bar we can use the transition property so transition and then the transition is going to apply on width the duration is going to be 0 0.5 seconds the animation type is going to be is in out and it is also going to be applied on background color as well so i'm just going to copy the width one from over here and over here i'm just going to write um, background color the name of the property on which it needs to be applied and then it also needs to be applied on the filter as well so i'm just going to paste it one more but then replace background color with the filter and now let's save our css file and we can use this password strength meter in our app.js file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this default stuff this header and this logo and let's import the password strength meter and we will also need to import use state because we will need a state variable for the password input so first let's add the heading for the password strength meter and then we also need to add the password state variable so const password and then set password s should be smaller for camel casing equals to use state the initial value can be an empty string and let's add the input now this is very basic code so i'm just going to you know copy and paste it it's not that much complicated we are just having a controlled component for app.js where the value for this input is going to be password and on change it is going to call set password and now let's add the div for our password meter so um, password strength meter and let's provide the password prop value so password equals to password and let's also add some style for this parent div as well so style equals to let's set the margin as zero auto to center align it and then let's also set the max width as well so i mean not max width the width of the parent so let's set the width as 200 px and now it's time to run our application to see if the password strength meter is working or not for that i will simply call in the terminal npm start all right so this is our password strength meter and i am going to start typing some characters 
lowercase uppercase and in number let's add some minimum width and let's add this special character so yeah it seems to be working actually let's use a different value so i'm just going to type some random stuff over here some numbers and some okay yeah it seems to be working and that's how you build a password strength meter in react i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please consider subscribing to this channel for more content like this one we cover a wide range of topics related to web development with a focus on making learning easy and enjoyable and also remember that your feedback and suggestions are invaluable for me so please drop a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts this is nitej signing off for now happy coding and i will see you in the next video